Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to explain to you what exactly vibration is. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so what exactly is vibration? Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Well, let's start by saying, why are there so many things out there to dampen vibration? Like, why are there jars and jars of vibration dampeners? Why do they make these, these things? Why do they make shock busters? Right? Why do they make shock traps? Shock busters. Vibrakill. Right? So all these are a form of vibration dampening. Right? Why do we want to dampen vibration? Well, the easy answer is to prevent tennis elbow. Does it really do it though? Uh, in my video about vibration dampeners, I would say no, because if any of these are going to prevent tennis elbow, they would probably charge more than five to ten dollars. OK, uh, so it's not going to cure your tennis elbow. It might alleviate some of the shock or the vibration, but um, you're going to have to see a doctor for your tennis elbow or stop playing for a little bit. OK. But what, but what exactly is vibration in a racket? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Wherever you hit on this string bed, there will be some form of vibration, whether it be very little or a lot. Now, where, where does it hurt? Where does it vibrate, right? What causes the most shock? Well, the easy answer is if you frame one, if you hit the ball off the frame, you will feel the most shock because you're not supposed to hit it there and it's not designed for you to hit it there. Therefore, if you hit the top, you will feel it the most in your hand and in your arm, okay? What happens when you hit the top is the racket bends, right? Bends and then kind of goes back and forth flopping like this. But it's the initial shock that's going to hurt you. So first you feel the shock, then you feel the vibration from it going like this back and forth, right? But the shock is what's going to hurt you the most. Now, as you move down into the string bed, let's say you miss hit and you miss hit constantly up here at the top, right? You will definitely feel the shock and the vibration, but not as much as if you hit the frame, okay? If you hit the string bed, at least it'll flex at the top, but have enough power to hopefully get it over the net with a decent shot. But what your racket's going to be doing is this. It'll bend and then it'll be woom, woom, like this, back and forth until it stops. Depending on how thick or how stiff your racket is. Obviously, if it's thinner, it's going to do it more. If it's thicker and stiffer, probably less. Well, definitely less. Okay? So here's the other strange thing about vibration is that if you hit the ball down here, you will feel a different type of vibration. The traditional vibration is heard or felt when it's at the top, right? So it goes like this, flopping around like this until it can, you know, center out or stop shaking, right? But if you hit it here, something different happens. You hear a different sound right but what happens is because it's hit here right here right what happens if you hit it here right so this this part of the racket will go out right therefore causing this to go that way 
right? So what happens is it'll go like this, and then the top will go like that, therefore causing it to go like this. Kind of the same thing, but the initial shock will be a little more jolting when you hit it down here. So if, if you guys have ever, ever hit it down here, you know what I'm talking about, right? It goes wham in the thing, right? So it goes like this. So it's kind of like a hit in the gut, right? If you ever got punched in the stomach, what happens to your head? You go forward, right? And then you go backwards and then you go forwards, right? If you get hit in the head, what happens? You go backwards and then you go forwards. So it's kind of a different shock and a different vibration. But either way, there is vibration. Is there any way that you don't or cannot feel vibration? Yes. Yes, there is. If you hit the sweet spot, there will be the least vibration of all. So those of you who complain about tennis elbow, uh, vibration, killing your arm, shoulders, wrist, right? If you hit the sweet spot, let's say more than not, like 90% of the time or higher, you're probably not feeling a whole lot of vibration, right? Because it's you're doing exactly what the racket is designed to do. You hit the, the sweet spot, the strings actually are going to do the work for you and catapult the ball out of there. There will be slight vibration there too, and that, but that's coming from the strings. When the strings kind of absorb and shoot, there is a little bit of back and forth with the strings too, but not as much as if you're hitting it off the frame or high or low, right? So what you want to do is keep your eye on the ball and hit the sweet spot all the time, right? Therefore, you won't feel so much vibration. Now, do these things really help? Do these dampener things really help? Yes, it does. It helps a little bit. It does. So when it's ringing back and forth, it does absorb a lot of the, the initial shock and the vibration and kind of ends it right there. If you frame one, you're still going to feel the hurt. Okay. If you hit high, you're still going to feel some of the hurt. Okay. If you hit down here, you'll probably still feel some of the hurt, but not so much. So these will help a little bit. They'll help a little bit with the vibration. All right. So what did we learn today? We learned to hit the sweet spot to protect your arm, to protect your arm from vibration. Um, so what, what, what's good, right? What are you supposed to do? Keep your eye on the ball. Try to hit the center of the strings, accelerate through the ball. Because if you're framing a lot, your arm's gonna tell you because it's gonna hurt. Okay, so keep your eye on the ball, hit the sweet spot, and you won't feel so much vibration or shock. So guys, I got a brand new strong racket right here in my hand, okay? Now what am I doing? Well, I'm hitting the strings on my hand. That's what I'm doing. No, just kidding. Okay, so I'm hitting the sweet spot right here. I'm hitting the sweet spot, right? I'm not feeling so much vibration in my hand. What's going to happen when I hit a little high? Whoa, feel that or hear that, right? Definite vibration, definite vibration. It even sounds different. I'm going to hit the frame now. Whoa. Whoa. Right? You hit the frame, sudden jolt straight down into the hand. Sudden jolt. So I'm going to go back into the high of the racket. Right, It goes boom. Right, the Vibration straight into my hand. Now, I'm going to go down here now. Low in the sweet spot. So that's a unique feeling. Right? I can definitely feel like... Like you're getting punched in the gut, the top goes like that, and then it goes boom, like that, back. That's low, that's low. I could feel a different type of vibration, but still vibration. So go back to the sweet spot. See, the sweet spot has a nice, it's singing, it's singing, right? It, you're doing what it's supposed, what it's made to do. 
is catapult the ball out of there with the strings and the racket firming up while it's doing it because you're hitting it right kind of near the center um, of, that's why they call it a sweet spot, right? You probably don't feel too much, if at all. It's like hot knife on butter, slicing through. You're slicing through the ball, right? So what did you learn today? What did I teach you, right? Vibration basically comes from you hitting off center or off sweet spot, right? High, frame, low, right? Even sometimes frame on the sides, right? If you maintain the sweet spot, constantly hitting that sweet spot, you won't feel a whole lot of vibration, especially, you know, I mean, these things will help a little bit, right? It'll help a little bit. It alters the sound more than anything else. But if you do hit off center uh, quite a bit, this will help the initial shock or the jolt and eliminate you know, a small percentage of the strong vibration. Okay, so guys, hit the sweet spot. You will eliminate a lot of the shock and the vibration. Okay, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.